Mm. When that first sip is the most special one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday, and we are going to the other side of the bridge today. Um, if you're not familiar with Tampa Bay, Tampa is in one side of the bay, and St. Pete, where I'm at, is on the other side. And it's only about a 30 minute drive from one to the other, but both sides are very like determined that their side is best. But even though every time I go there, I'm like, this is lovely, I should spend more time here. I wanna check out some of the independent grocery stores that they have over there to see which ones might be a good fit to sell the frozen croissants at. I'm also having lunch with a friend and fellow vegan business owner, so I'm excited about that. We're trying out this new restaurant that I've never been to before. She says it's really good. And before I do all of that, I do have to take care of some admin stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna get to working on the computer and then in a couple of hours, we'll head over to Tampa, do some exploring, do some luncheon. I'll talk to you soon. Here, cheers. avocado and the lemongrass tofu fresh roll and then can I get the Hawaiian fruit smoothie vegan can I get a uh, vegan protein powder added to that this all sounds so good I am so hungry <laughs> We got, what did I even get? I forget. It was the Haas avocado and the lemongrass tofu. And you got? A uh, lemongrass tofu and the chili garlic is my favorite. It's a gotcha. little bit of a spice, so. Okay, and then you got the matcha. Matcha. And I got this coconut amazing thing, so cheers. I am so excited. Okay, we got citrus vinaigrette and shallot vinaigrette. I think this is the shallot. I wanna like get the combo yeah. correct. <laughs> That was so good. I never, I don't think I've ever had those fresh rolls with the rice paper. That was delicious. That was really, really good. Uh, and just catching up with Savannah was really fun too. So she owns a fresh meal delivery service in St. Pete and her food is so good. Whenever, she works out of the same kitchen as I do. So whenever we're both there, like it's amazing. Like I've had some of her food and it's, chef's kiss so back to work and checking out uh grocery stores let's go Step on any photos with the white shoes on. It's like a minefield over here. Success! Up in Sustampa, like Tampa traffic. Oh my gosh, so this desk is giving me life right now. It would probably be perfect for my office, but like, do I need it? Priorities. 
we might as well make use of this. So obviously we've taken a detour. I decided to stop by the Home Goods because it's so much bigger than the one in St. Pete. By the way, do you love Home Goods as much as I do? Like there's something about the store, not only just the cuteness, but like there's a very specific smell to Home Goods stores and I love it. <laughs> But either way, I'm looking for a mirror for my bathroom, which is probably going to be next week's vlog, whether I find this mirror or not. But uh, it's so frustrating. So I found the perfect one. It's perfect, except that it's not because it's 21 inches wide and I need it to be 16. So that's way too wide. Keep looking, I guess. Are you serious right now? It's July. Like you need to cool it with the pumpkin stuff. And we are back at home. I am exhausted, you guys. Like just driving around and going to different places. Checked out quite a few places and um, I had to stop by Whole Foods on the way back home because I was out of orange juice for the morning and I just didn't have time to stop by anywhere else. And also, I am a nosy person and they have a new store in Midtown in Tampa and I just want to check it out and found out a few goodies that I had to get so let's do like the miniest of hauls from Whole Foods because I really didn't get that much number one they had vegan pizza so I got a slice I did get this orange peach mango juice because that sounded delightful, absolutely delightful. Kite Hill spinach tortellini dairy free. I don't think I've ever tried these and I don't think I've ever seen these anywhere else. So they had a like a cookie bar in there and they did have a vegan cookie that I got. So we're gonna try this out. I also got some mail. Let's see what we got in the mail. Well, I know what this is. This, the most hermetically sealed envelope in the history of envelopes. Wow, okay. Shake my hand. Yeah, that's what I thought this was. Uh, these are my CBD gummies. I use these before I go to sleep. They don't have any THC on them. You know, if you have anxiety, that feeling when you wake up at 5 a.m. and your heart's beating out of your chest, these help me not get that. And I am eternally grateful for them. And then this, it is, I think I know what this is and I'm very excited to get it. Yes. So I have been working out with the Lean with Lily app for a while now. I heard a podcast with the founder, Lily Sabri, and she is like a self-made woman started out on youtube and then you know built her way up and you know she has her own app with workouts and stuff which is what i do just to work out because i don't have a gym membership anymore and then she also has her line of protein powders and supplements and that kind of stuff and she recently launched these superfood daily greens they're like a green juice kind of thing that you mix with water or oat milk and it's like de-bloating de and you know, has enzymes and all the good stuff. She has been hyping these up for a while. So I got two. I was like, I'm, I'm getting two, I'm sold. So it's just nice to like support another woman owned business. Like that girl has been hustling and I support that. So got these and yeah. So let's try the Whole Foods food. Because uh, I'm curious about all of this. I'm going to start with the pizza. I'm not even that hungry, to be honest, but I'm just too curious to just let this go. I'm just going to take a bite. So this has, looks like it has like some spinach in there. It has some mushrooms, a couple broccoli florets, tomatoes, just like some veggies and stuff. And the cheese is pretty well melted in there. Mm, it's pretty good. It's cold pizza. I feel like it would taste so much better if I warmed it up. But this is pretty good. Like the cheese just kind of like disappears in there. There's no chalkiness, which is a problem sometimes with vegan pizzas and vegan cheese in pizza. Um, 
It's like creamy, but it kind of just disappears, kind of like mozzarella. But it's good. All right, so it's all right. Cookie is next. It's a chocolate on chocolate situation. So it's a chocolate cookie with chocolate chips. The texture is pretty soft, but not like crumbly. Definitely not snappy. Uh, oh. This is good. This is good. Like, this is good. Very briefly, I did offer as part of my menu a multi chocolate cookie. The recipe is actually here on the channel if you want to make it yourself. Um, and it is like my favorite cookie of all time. Like, if I'm gonna make a cookie for myself, that's gonna be it. And this tastes kind of like it. I mean, mine has the gooey middle, but this is. This is legit. This is a good cookie. Yeah, that's that's an eight cookie. That's 10 out of 10. This is good. And with that review that nobody asked for, I think I'm gonna call the vlog over here. I need to clean this kitchen because this kitchen's looking messy. Like, I'm gonna give you the quickest of peaks. It's, it's bad. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. I need to like shower and clean up around the house. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here, but um, I hope you enjoyed this little day trip to Tampa, little adventures. And uh, I think next week, I'm just gonna show you what the bathroom looks like. Cause the remodel is done, but we still don't have a mirror. But I think, spoiler alert, we don't have a mirror. But I think at this point, I just need to show you what it looks like. So maybe next week it will be the bathroom reno vlog. Anyway, I'm gonna go and start cleaning up this kitchen. I will see you guys here next week. Until then, stay curious.